This is a quick demonstration of vSphere Data Protection 5.5, a great example of a joint project between VMware and EMC, making backup simple and easy and embedded in vSphere 5.5. VDP includes several versions. VDP uh, is included for free in all vSphere releases, and there's a licensable VDP Advanced. This is a demonstration of how simple and easy it is to create backups using VDP the free and native included backup capabilities in vSphere 5.5. Here what we're doing is we're identifying the backup targets, a basic schedule, a retention policy, and giving it a name. This is actually how simple and easy it is, and you'll notice that it's completely integrated into the vSphere web client. Now that we've completed the backup job, we can actually tick off on-demand backups. As an example here, we're going to simply and easily go into this web client, look at this backup uh, set and say backup now creating an on-demand based backup uh, otherwise it would go off whenever scheduled it's as simple as and easy as that to create on-demand backups as well as a normal backup based schedule if we take a look at the tasks what's fascinating here is how leveraged and how integrated this is with vSphere itself it leverages the vSphere APIs for data protection for simple and easy uh, snapshot integration for uh, quiescing of virtual machines, and also leveraging the unique change block tracking capability that's a native part of VDP, not only on backup, which can be used universally, but also on restores for much, much faster restore capability. Avamar, the underlying technology that's used in VDP from EMC, is uh, an incredible technology that can perform an incredible deduplicated backup uh, and actually really minimizes the amount of backup data that's sent um, from the actual uh, client uh, through to a VDP-based proxy. The backup is now complete, and there's some additional capabilities that we can leverage in vSphere Data Protection 5.5, namely a new capability included in the free version of the product to be able to replicate backups off the vSphere cluster itself. This is a very, very demanded capability by our customers uh, in uh, the first version of VDP that was part of earlier versions of vSphere. Replication allows you to replicate the backups on their own schedule off to either an Avamar virtual edition node, a pure software-based implementation of a backup client and a backup server, or also to a full-blown Avamar uh, RAIN cluster for customers that are larger. The useful capability here is that obviously backups are useful but they're particularly useful if they're actually replicated off the backup uh, platform itself, in this case the vSphere cluster. In, in other words, providing a capability to recover if you were to lose the entire vSphere cluster and all of its underlying storage. So here we've given it a name, we've given it a schedule, and we now not only have a backup schedule, we also have got a replication schedule. Here what we're going to do is we're going to kick off this replication job manually, just to say let's start the replication right now. We've got a backup that's been completed, and as we replicate this, what it's doing is it's taking just the changed data, and in fact, just the changed deduplicated data, and replicating that off the vSphere cluster, in this case, to an Avamar virtual machine, but it could also, as I said earlier, be a full-blown Avamar grid for customers that are using this for large-scale heterogeneous environments. It's now replicating. It's extremely efficient, again, leveraging deduplication and variable length deduplication, and being able to do that in an extremely efficient way, completely integrated with vSphere 5.5.